Well, welcome to another fantastic weekend in Katowice, Poland. This is going to be round one of a fantastic league challenge right here with the brand new format, of course. And round number one, I know it's stopped, don't worry about it. Round number one on the left side, we've got Adrian Kostelik, a really respected player, a player that is definitely right there uh, in terms of in terms of not only being friendly, but also in terms of being a super, super good player. On the right side, we got Artur Zorowik, also not a bad player as well. Well, and we think we can go. We can start the round number one. And of course, you know, if there's if the card is gonna be not visible, I will tell you what the card is. So don't worry about that. So right now, as you can see, we're gonna have a start with on the left side. We've got a Tina Trump with Miss Magus and Miss Magus, uh, Miss Dravis is uh, right uh, on the left side for Adrian Kostelik and Zara Ora Peak Rum on the right side for Arthur Zreich and Zara Ora is there so let's go let's start round number one here we go here we go so round number one Arthur Zreich starts so let's take a look what does he have what we're gonna see from him uh, of course there is a, a bit of a talk in between the players because uh, they do know each other quite well and we see an acrobite being played and the energy being this card so we have the first energy this card in the game which is really good like this is what Picarom wants to do he wants to discard some energy we've got electromagnetic radar and what else is gonna get this card probably another energy and we've got okay Kovac adjusting adjusting uh, the camera here we've got a reset stamp and um, Professor research Magnolia being discarded and we go for Picrom and he is searching for what is the uh, other drug searching normally he would go for the Dene and it is so we've got a the Dene being searched for which again, this is exactly, exactly what Picaron player wants to have. And with this, uh, with this Miss Magus, Miss Dravius out there uh, for Adrian Kostelik and uh, Tina Trump, is he going to have an attachment, right? Turn one, like this is going to be really important because uh, Picaron, especially that version that Arthur's Roig plays, uh, you can all, of course, check it out here on the channel in the deck section, uh, but it's really, really turn one oriented. It's a bit more aggressive. And again, Kovac is shaking, shaking that camera. Uh, we got an attachment from hand. Is there going to be a Coco? What is going to happen right now? Uh, we've got an energy, and the energy stays on the peak arm. All right, so that is uh, there. The Dene, and we've got we've got a discard, and we've got a Faba being discarded, and also yeah, that was a Faba. That was the last card in his hand. Six fresh cards, and let's take a look. What we're going to have in here. Oh, and we've got a big charm. That may be a really, really interesting card to play. What else? We don't really know what else he have. Let's take a look. Maybe a Jirachi, maybe something. Oh, and it is a Jirachi. A beautiful team-up Jirachi, actually, from the pre-release. And Adrian Castelli looking at his hand, you know, power plant is there. Uh, Arthur Zurich taking, you know, taking a look at and Tina Charm, you know, trying to remind himself, like, what Tina Charm was doing. We've got a big charm right over here. So I'm assuming he was looking at the damage output that the Tina Charm can do. And Adrian Castell, like, now, draw. He has a fighting type energy. He has the power plant, and he drops the power plant right there. He has energy spinner. So many, many ways. And the greens exploration for Adrian Castelli right here. And he's going, he's browsing, he's checking. Of course, he's checking really close to his chest. So we can't really see uh, exactly, exactly what he has in his deck. We can't really see that. He's doing it really close to his chest. That's his, you know, that's his technique. Like you can see that uh, right over there at this camera angle. And he goes for a mysterious treasure. So he's going to go for that, Miss Magus. Since you have Miss Dravius in uh, there on the board and a karate belt. Right, karate belt, of course, you know, uh, really important card for. Oh, there we go. Now he, we can see him browsing the deck, checking the deck. A really important card for for the Tina Trump decks, uh, especially, you know, uh, in the matchup like that, where when during turn one, actually, uh, Picarom was able to to, to uh, start something, to start doing something, go energy spinner for two energies, because that's the first turn, and he went second. Uh, you can see, like, you can see the stress on both sides, the first round league challenge, points on the line, uh, what is going to happen, they both do respect each other, and at the same time, because I can see, I think you can hear that as well, they really, really, really uh, like to talk to each other, and this is cool, like, that's how Pokemon should be, you've got friends, you've got uh, those friendships, we've got a Switch, a beautiful Switch, and we might see, are we going to see... An attack, and we see a 40 damage, 40 damage right there on the peak rom. An amazing play right there, getting that, getting that Miss Dravius out of here. So draw for Arthur Zorowik, what are we gonna see? He might have a switch and go for Jirachi into a skateboard. Who knows, he might also 
start thinking about going for Tapu Koko at certain point. And that's a Volkner. Beautiful first place Volkner for him. We've got an energy and what else we're gonna have? Let's take a look what he's gonna go for. And he's going, oh, he's thinking, like you can see, he's thinking about that switch. The switch is up. And it is, I believe it is going to be a switch and it is. All right, so we got a switch right here, a nice shuffle. And of course, Aiden is gonna shuffle uh, the deck back. Right, so Volkner goes back to the discard pile. Or back, it goes just to the discard pile right there. And right now, we might see a switch into a Jirachi. We might actually see a Thunder Mountain being played also and start, you know, chipping away that damage slowly uh, but surely. But the fact that we don't see uh, the Choo Choo, right? The right turn, right turn might indicate that it might be Pride. I don't know what he has in his hand, but it might indicate that. Like he is thinking, there is a Zapdos, I believe. I believe there is a Z Oh, and it is, it is a Zapdos. Zapdos goes straight down on the board. This is going to be a switch onto a Jirachi, switch onto a Zapdos now, also a valid strategy at this point, I think he's thinking about it, he's like checking his hand, beautiful, uh, beautiful, beautiful rings in his hands, and we've got a switch, Zapdos, oh, is it, oh, he's thinking, is it going to be a Zapdos from that switch to attack for, and it is, so we've got a Zapdos right now. Some energy, ooh, energy on a Zapdos actually, and we've got a first, is it going to be a first attack, on the Arthur's side, and... He's still thinking, oh, maybe he's thinking about Electro Power, of course, the GX Hunter, and there we go, that's the first attack, that is an 80 damage right there, onto, onto Adrian's Castellic, Adrian's Castellic, Tina Chomp, so right now, tides have turned, we might see Miss Magus right now, getting that prize card for uh, Arthur's right, but also drawing uh, those, uh, those seven cards, uh, actually, Enabling, enabling something uh, like 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 uh, this karate belt, and you can clearly see on the front. So Adrian right now putting to the front all the cards he needs. So we got we have this, that Miss Magus. We've got that tackle. What else? Like he's probably gonna get that. Uh, get that dusk stone over here just to get uh, just to get that evolution but you know he's browsing he's checking he's making sure what he has left in his deck what is there and this is good like you have to check what is prized what is not prized and you can see you know their conversation that you know some things were <coughs> well are still prized and this is never good right when something is prized it is never never good but what can you say? What can you do uh, about that? This, you know, this is one of those RNG moments where you can't do anything. So we got a tackle, and we got a oh, Lieutenant Sword. So he is like you can clearly see he's preparing that uh, turn for Miss Magus. Actually, knocking out Miss Magus on his own. But first, he's going for the tackle, of course. So he's going back to the deck. He's going back to browsing, and he's going for uh, another Tina Chomp. Oh, not not the best place to be right now. If you are Arthur Drawing, definitely we've got a second energy. Right there, onto an active Tina Chomp. We've got a fighting type energy discarded for uh, with Mysterious Treasure for, of course, Miss Magus, and we will see that. We will see that knock on Miss Magus, and it's a matter of seconds, the matter of minutes right now, where he's going to activate that ability. Excuse me, when he's going to activate that ability, and when he's going to actually start rolling again, Tina Chomp. And there he goes. Oh, he, it even shook the camera. So one prize for the Arthur Zorowick, but this is not the prize he wanted. This is not the prize he needed. At the same time, two reset stamps right there for a uh, four, four, four. Uh, Adrian Castellic. Let's take a look. Yeah, I think he has Weezing as well. Oh, and that's a GX and a GX. Oh, that is devastating. That is devastating. Peak Rum getting discarded. GG end. Is this going to be a GG end for Arthur Zarag right now? What a play from Adrian Castellic. Really good play. That's what I'm talking about. Just plays like that. That make you feel like, okay, this is it. This is the moment. And right now, I can tell Arthur Zarag is in a really tough spot. We got a switch. He has to switch for that Jirachi. Now, this is being a desperate mode this is the mode of being okay emergency alert the alerts are ringing in his head what can he actually do what can he possibly do right now just to win against this Tina Chomp, against this, this, this deck. Of course, you know, uh, because of GG and he's, Adrian Castell is not taking any prize, he's just discarding, right? He's not knocking out, he's not knocking out the Picarom, but what can be said and done right now? We've got Zora Aura that is unable to attack. Okay, we've got a Volkner. 
Of course, uh, there is... Okay, we got an energy. What else is gonna go for? We got the Dene again. Not an attacker. We got a Zapdos. Not the attacker we want. Not the one we deserve, but the one we got. That's what, you know, that's what professionals would say. And I must agree with them. You know, that's not what we want, but that's what we got. Especially with the, that reset stamp. And we things on the hand of Adrian Kostelik. What is happening? What is up? And we've got electromagnetic radar. So he's gonna start, like he browsed through, he knows what he's got. We've got two energies discarded that way. Oh, definitely a lot of energy right now. I believe four energies in the discard pile. We will see that as Adrian is gonna probably browse. Oh, and there is a choo so it was not prized, but well, there is no peak rum, so peak rum must be prized. It's one peak rum in the prize cards. So electromagnetic radar just for that one, just for that one. Oh, that was brutal. That was devastating. That was one of those moments that you don't want to be in. And oh, let me tell you, this is a rough spot for Arthur Zorabic right now to be in. And of course, Adrian just browsing three reset stamps in his hand. That is insane what he has there. Of course, wheezing. Of course, we've got the green sex exploration, Sophia and Caitlin. I mean, I couldn't see the fourth, the fourth, the fifth card. Energy on the choo choo. Is there anything else? Is there anything else we might see from Artus Rock? He's thinking. He is just talking. He is stalling. That was a custom catcher for additional two. He had one card left. That was a custom catcher. And he has to pass. Oh, he has to pass. But we are on the camera. That's what Adrian Castellic says. We are on the camera. Roll that dice for that Jirachi, man. Roll that dice. And of course, you know, Zebra Aura's ability not working because of, because of, of course a power power plan that's why Arthur is going for those switches that's why he's using those instead of instead of anything else so right now we got a green sex uh, <laughs> sorry lieutenant Sarge right there let's take a look at what he's going to play okay so there we go he's bringing back he's bringing back that lieutenant Sarge drawing three cards and he discarded wheezing out of it where we've got uh, Miss Dravius again going there. We got a Rainbow Energy, the 10 damage counter on a Tinder Trump. Oh, and the, whoa, the dice are flying. You can feel the intensity in that game, like right now. It's a really, really intense game. Can Arthur come back, but also can Adrian Castell capitalize on this very moment, on this moment where he can actually, actually uh, deal a lot of damage, a lot of harm, but also set himself up for uh, for the rest of the game. And of course, beautiful playmat from Nashville, Tennessee. So hello to Nashville. Tennessee right there again Adrian a player that was to world championships so again amazing amazing player and Arthur's right just a sexy player just saying you know that's I I, I know that's not opinion ladies and gentlemen that is a fact from his stream and that's something worth noting so let's take a look he goes for karate belt and we've got a mysterious treasure so going for that uh, and not another Miss Magus just slowly slowly preparing another karate belt oh man this is those three reset stamps are not looking Pretty good, but this is a knockout on Jirachi. Adrian Kostelik finally taking a prize right here in Poland, Katowice. So right now, Artzrak, what is he going to actually uh, nominate as an active Pokemon? And that is the Dene. What? Why? 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 Why the Dene? That is a really interesting play right now. The Dene is an active Pokemon. We've got Electro Power. What is he planning right now? What is his plan? I think he, he has no idea as well. He's like, okay, that's what I'm gonna play. He brings diff another Tina Trump right now. Okay, so he brings another Tina Trump with those two custom catchers. And we've got him, Professor's Research, Magnolet. So that's why he played those catchers. That's why he played, that's why he played that electromagnetic radar. And right now he's searching. So uh, right now, um, like he's showing that you know he's uh, he's using that to actually show that there's a 30 damage right that he can, that can be dealt. But what can he do? Retreat? Can he think about retreating and actually attacking with Zabdos? Can he do something else? Maybe there is a Thunder Mountain. Oh, but there is a Roxy in hand of Adrian Castellic. We've got a Quick Ball. What are we gonna have from that Quick Ball? What is gonna discard for that quick ball? Oh, <laughs> another quick ball. So this means that quick ball should come back. Uh, that's what I would say. So what he's gonna go for? There has to be a Tapu Coco. He has to go for the Tapu Coco Prism. That is a card that he needs desperately, and it is. He's got that Tapu Coco Prism, and he's gonna. He said he's gonna be uh, back to the deck, and let's go. Oh, he is searching. So that's four. 
Let's roll one more time, Raven. Uh, auto, let's draw again. Right, so he's going for that Thunder Mountain. So if there's a Thunder Mountain, this means we're gonna have, we're not gonna have power plant in the board. Uh, Thunder Mountain. Let's take a look. Tapu Koko right there. Thunder Mountain. This means that Choo Choo may or may not be able to attack. Or <laughs> something like that. Then it can be an attacker. So let's take a look. What he's going to do? Is he going to pass the turn and just give Adrian those two prize cards because of the Dene? There is a Thunder Mountain. Is there anything else he can do? This is really tough spot. This, this is the defining turn right now. Oh, and Lysander Slap to get rid of to get rid of Power Plant, but also Lysander Slap gets rid of those gets rid of those 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 Karate Bells. Really smart move right there. And we've got a Tapu Coco uh, being being used, and on actually on the Choo Choo and Zara Aura, not a bad idea, right? So we've got a really nice play here. And is this the beginning of the comeback? Is this the beginning of a comeback? The Dene is front. No way, actually, of... Oh, and he passes the turn, but okay, at least there is a Lysander's lab. So right now, this is the moment for Adrian Castellic. This is the moment to show, uh, to show uh, his turn. Of course, you know, we know that... Oh, he might not have that attachment, but he's going for uh, he's going for mysterious treasure. He's got that Miss uh, Miss Magius. He can do that. He has the options, and that's what it's all about: the options, the outsmarting the opponent. And right now, it feels like it feels like Adrian is right there. He's doing that. We've got a power plant, and Lysander's lab is no more. So right now, those that that they play. Oh, that the Dene play is actually it can bite, can bite Arthur's Rawick uh, out there. But maybe he has a plan. Maybe he's a man with the plan. We never know that. You may not never know that. We know him very, very well. And Arthur, maybe, maybe that the man with a plan. We've got, uh, of course, we go for the Weezing. So we might actually see a double Weezing uh, on the Roxy this turn. Let's take a look. Adrian actually browsing, checking what is left in his deck. Like, what I have, what I have to do to beat that guy. What I have to do to beat all that threat on the other side. And the Power Plant is definitely doing the job, right? Power Plant is making that a lot easier for Adrian. And again, Arthur's still not use the GX attack. Is this the moment for Miss Magus? And it is, and it is the moment for Miss Magus. Miss Magus is being dropped, the prize card is being taken, and let's take a look what we're gonna have in here. So reset, stamp, hello, uh, down before. That is devastating. So Thunder Mountain goes back to the deck. Oh, this is bad news. This is really bad news. This is the news that you don't want to hear if you are just right right now. And let's take a look what he's drawing. And I'm trying to hear there is a Volkner, I believe. But is there anything else? I may not know. So we've got another wheezing. And there's still Roxy. There's still that Roxy. Those are still two Weezings. And Lieutenant Sarge. What a turn right here for Adrian Castellic. We've got, oh, two Weezings. Two Weezings being dropped. So damage all over the place for him. And the six cards being drawn. What a turn. What a turn for Adrian, right? Look at that. Damage all over the place. All over the place. We've got Simpia and Caitlyn on top of that. Because the, he could have played that one more. One more. And he goes for Lieutenant Sarge. And he could have played that because uh, there was Lieutenant Sarge there. So we might see a Shadow Box Mew because that's what he drew. And is it going to be a Shadow Box Mew? Weakness, Guard, Energy on an active Tina Trump. And we, I believe that is going to be a Shadow Box Mew. So he's going to shut down, shut down Zara Aura for good with the Shadow Box Mew. And it is. So Shadow Box Mew's ability says that. If uh, Pokemon has, if Pokemon GX has uh, any damage counter, he doesn't have any abilities. The abilities are gone. They're dead. They are literally not working. And that is a knockout for Adrian Castellic on that Dene. So I think he was thinking to get something out of that, out of that card to retreat that Dene. That was an easy retreat. But right now we are three to four in terms of prize cards. And what is going on? What is happening? What a game that is! Zara Aura is being active. We've got a skateboard on Zara Aura. That is really interesting right here like you don't n normally see that play like that right you don't normally see a Zara Aura, uh, Zara Aura uh, Zapdos using a skateboard a really interesting play there's still a GX actually uh, working let's take a look at the Poke Gear. what we're gonna have from Poke Gear, and we've got Marnie there is a Marnie but this is, is this going to be a play
we don't know we don't know if this is going to be a play uh, right now we've got a few other things we've got a third energy okay so he might actually be thinking about paralyzing we got electro power oh let's take a look we, we're gonna have we got electro power that is an interesting interesting amount of damage and we've got a Marnie and Marnie is being dropped so again both players are shuffling their hands and putting their hands at the bottom they're putting their hands at the bottom and they're just drawing. Otto is drawing, of course. Uh, yeah, like they're expl after explaining it to Adrian. So Otto is drawing five cards, Adrian is drawing four, but he has to put that at the bottom, at the very, very bottom of his of his deck. One, two, three. And a four and a five to Otto. Does he have what it takes right now? Does he have what it takes? Oh, this is getting really, really interesting right now. And the camera is going down. Oh, no. The camera is slowly, slowly going down. And it went down for us. And the camera went down for us. So let's just move on a little bit. We may not see what is happening there. But, okay, we see an energy on being on the choo-choo. So we... There are four energies on the choo-choo. There might be a thunder. Ma there was right, so there was a knockout. So there was, uh, there was enough of energy. So there was a knockout. So we missed a knockout, unfortunately, because of the camera movement. One. Or did we? Or did we? The camera is. Oh, camera might go down again. <laughs> camera is going down again. Uh, camera is going down again. We're gonna move a little bit. There we go. So we are back. No, we didn't miss a knockout. We didn't miss a knockout. There was a slight damage, but there was no knockout. There is the Tina Trump, and we are back into play. So there was a Tina Trump. There was a. Uh, there was a retreat uh, on that Zapdos. So leaving, leaving, leaving uh, an active. Uh, an active tutor. So right now, Otto back with his turn, uh, playing another energy. He has what it looks like only maybe nine, maybe eight cards left in the deck. But that is the game. That is the. We've got an energy switch. Oh, this might be. This might be a really interesting play right now. Let's take a look. What we're gonna have in here. So definitely, there is nothing like Thunder Mountain right there in play. Oh, at least from what I can tell. We've got an energy switch. So many, many things. Many things can happen right now oh this is getting excited this is getting really really good oh and as i said it down goes thunder mountain as i said it down goes thunder mountain right now so Chuchu can actually one two three with an energy so there is going to be a five energy so Chuchu can actually hit for this 250 damage next turn can adrian actually come back from that can adrian come back from something like that let's say he has three prize cards we've got an adjustment to the camera four prize Price cards to auto. What a game that is! What a game that is right there. And we've got we've got a fourth energy. Is that one, two, three, fourth energy right there on the choo choo? So no peak run the whole game, but the choo choo is there to save. But is this going to mean? Is this does it mean that this is going to be a save? Is choo choo going to save him? We see you know Adrian like looking, checking. Can I knock out? Can I get rid of that of that Pokemon? And Let's take a look. Oh, a re and a retreat. That is really interesting play. Like, this is one of those things that you don't normally see. We've got a retreat from Arthur's Row. You know, to Zapdos on an active position. And a knockout with Zapdos. A really interesting play right there. I must admit, that was a really smart play. Really interesting play just to leave that Zapdos. I mean, he knows. He's got an energy switch. All he needs is one now energy. And he can use the GX attack for for uh, 250. And of course, you know, Adrian's asking, hey, uh, you retreat. Retreated. Like, yes, that's a re two of retreat cards. So that's exactly what, what he said. Like, you see, there we go. Those are the two energies I've used to retreat. And now goes Roxy onto MS Magus. So, only a draw. Only a draw. And is that a draw? That is going to help Adrian right now. Is that this draw that... And... That's a knockout. We see a nice, 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 beautiful knockout. But can Arto get that energy right now? So it all comes down to energy. If Arto draws energy, that is a GG. And he's using the GX of, of uh, the Dene. So is he going to have that? He's checking. He's looking at his hand. He needs to draw an energy. We've got Electro Power. Let's see. We've got Electro Power. So it might be 250 damage. We've got Energy Switch. And... 
Those are three, four with Thunder Mountain. Are we going to see something else? We need that. He needs that one energy right now. That's a quick ball. Oh, we might not see that energy. We might not see that. That is a, that is a turn that is going to be either win or lose for both players. So, Fioni is being discarded. What a tech card there. Fioni being discarded. Uh, auto checking. Just checking his deck. Do I have anything there? Is there anything left that I can play? Is there anything left here? And he's saying like, hey, listen, you know, just uh, do something to this deck. And what are we going to have? Custom catchers. Last three draws. It's a one. It's a two. It's a three. It's an energy. It's a GX. And that is a game. Whoa. I mean, I need something because that was a game that I wanted to see. That was a game that we never knew. We never knew we wanted, but we are grateful we got it because that was a really high profile game. We won in the round number one. What a game that was. You know, both players and both amazing players right there. Aaron Kastalik, fantastic, fantastic play uh, and fantastic showcase of his capabil capabilities. But also Arthur Zarai, you know, just. Playing Pikram without a Pikram and picking up a win right there. Just a few questionable plays along the way, but again, that was that was uh, the key to the victory. You know, just putting off maybe the opponent, but also Adrian Castell, like amazing plays there. Maybe you know the missing missing of the attachment. Just maybe this little things, maybe the things being prized that he uh, that he got there. You know, specifically for this for this league challenge. Definitely both players, amazing players, great showcase. And we get, again see uh, two two uh, different techniques of shuffling, and they're going back and forth with those techniques. Because so, again, you know, shuffling is important, right? Shuffling is really important. And again, you know, um, as we have a little bit of a break, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like that, for more IRL games, for more league challenges, league cups and league right here from Poland, Katowice in the Vimyar. And if you want to play here uh, with us, you can go uh, to in the Vimyar, uh, website and actually you know every single Sunday 10 a.m. CET that's where we start so if you want to come and join us you can go it's got to be the Dombova Street all right so we are going to game number two um, and Arthur is showing that you know Adrian is going first this time which is really good thanks Arthur I appreciate that so we will have a mulligan right there for Adrian Kostelik and oof and Jirachi start for Arthur definitely definitely a lot better start we've got we've got a first mulligan and definitely definitely a lot better start here for Arthur Zrawik you know but again mulligans doesn't really mean uh, that Adrian is going is for on the losing position his deck is actually his deck can really ramp up. His deck can really do a lot of harm, a lot of damage early on. So definitely, you know him mulliganing is not that bad. Again, he's not playing that many basics. So this is not really something that seems to be bad for him. Arthur showing a little bit of respect. Sorry, I was drinking a little bit of coffee this morning, and Arthur showing a bit of respect. I'm like, no, it's fine. I believe that you shuffle properly. Like those really. It's just, I mean, the light. If you can hear what they're saying, I mean, I know not everyone understands Polish. That's a handshake, and let's go. Of course, you know, Adrian starting. Hey, this is a card, and we go. Jirachi start, and Adrian Kasalik is starting. We've got a Miss Travis over here, and power plant already. Already power plant being dropped. Oh, that might be. That might be a huge problem because he can't really now. Arthur can't really play. He can't really play that. Um, that the Denator one. And we've got, of course, Tina Trump and that Miss uh, Miss Dravis over here. It's already a really interesting turn. Switch being this card for Mysterious Treasure. And of course, you know, you can't really hear what they're saying. Or when you hear it, uh, they do speak Polish. But again, there's so much respect on both sides. You know, they're laughing, they're joking. Um, it's just a delight to hear and that's what we want from all the players right just enjoying themselves just you know having a laugh and not being not being you know male genitalia because again you should never be a male genitalia when you're playing pokemon trading card game you should be super fun and oh there was no energy attachment for adrian castellic and right now let's take a look green's exploration and what i believe looks like mr treasure in his hand so let's go quick ball for auto and is he going to oh and the zapdos getting discarded that's really interesting turn right now he's browsing for the deck is my big run prize this time hopefully not that's what he's saying to himself because again it's the last game there was no peak room at all right there was nothing nothing there for him and he's telling okay I'm gonna be back to the deck and he is going back to the deck 
We've got energy and uh, of course we've got uh, and <laughs> then she's gonna get discarded and what else gonna get discarded let's take a look and another energy so two energy getting discarded so amazing turn for the peak run player right here for Ardo Zorawik amazing turn right now we've got a peak run he's not priced and are we gonna see a choo choo and it is oh he's getting he's gathering all those pieces he's getting those we've got a choo choo right there we've got a peak run again there's still a GGN so he still has to be really 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 careful let's take a look what else we're gonna have we got a usage of the Tapu Koko Prism early on. Really good. He's thinking about attacking this turn one, but can he do that? We've got energy switch. Two energies right on the peak room. Oh, he is so close. He's getting close. He is getting actually super close to uh, attacking. There's still one more energy attachment from hand. We've got a custom catcher. For one card only, what the card is going to be? Oh, that was nothing. So another custom catcher for one card. And that is an energy. That is a third energy. Are we going to see an attack turn one? We've got the Dene, but no, 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 there is a power plant. Oh, and Adrian stops him. And Adrian stops him. Great sportsmanship. An amazing sportsmanship. Amazing, amazing sportsmanship from Adrian Castellic right now. Amazing sportsmanship. He could have actually let, let that happen, right? He could have let that happen, be like, okay, listen, that's a two price card penalty. But he left it. He said, like, hey, he stopped him. That is what I'm talking about. Sometimes the sportsmanship, you know, being nice. This is this is the Pokemon that we want to say. Amazing sportsmanship. You're not being male genitalia. And amazing. Definitely an award for Adrian Castellic here for that sportsmanship. Amazing, 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 uh, amazing play. But does ought to have a way to retreat that Jirachi? I don't think so. I don't think there is a way to, re to retreat that Jirachi. By the way, a really nice Batman t-shirt uh, right there on Arthur's side. Just, you know, I, I just said, alright, he's going for the Faba, so nothing really, to be quite honest with you, so nothing really, and he, now uh, Adrian knows that there is only, only, uh, only, a Pokegear 3.0 in his hand from, beautiful Pokegear though, from uh, the League, League uh, Cup, so Power Plant was uh, devastating, right, Power Plant was devastating this turn, and, well, like, you see many people, when they do play the Dene like that, they just concede, but right now, Otto is just... He has to go back to his groove. Adrian knows that right now, he's in Otto's head. Like, he is in his head. He Adrian knows that that is the moment where he can actually start doing stuff. And they are talking, like, Otto is still thinking probably about that, the Dene. That is a really, really bad play. Like, he's still apologizing. He's still like, I'm sorry, you know, I didn't meant to. And they're still talking about, like, okay, you know, uh, it happened. So let's take a look. We got an energy spinner. So Adrian was checking out how much energy is left in his deck. And there's, I believe, one, two, three. There's three psychic type energies, four psychic type, two fighting type energies. So there is energy uh, for him, but missing that turn one attachment, that was huge. And this really, this you can see that you know that was not 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 uh, the decision he wanted to make. He didn't. He could have knew. He could have knew that there is not going to be any energy during during his turn uh, one. But he is playing his best right now. He is going for it. He has to know what is in the price card. We don't know what is in his price card. I don't have a deck list in front of me. That is a. Timmy, next time, Timmy, a deck list. Right, Timmy, Timmy. T Timmy, stop putting those X and Y evolution packs in the newest mirror product. We need to, yeah, new, okay. So I talked to the Timmy, and yeah, there's still gonna be some X and Y packs in the new stuff, but he is going for that Miss Magus and uh, Miss Dravis right here, and what a turn that might be. Of course, some cards are German language for Adrian Castellic, because here in Europe, they are legal. They are legal to play, so, and they are a little bit cheaper, so this, this is a really nice thing to have in Europe, right? And let's take a look what we're gonna have here. Of course, Kovac during this uh, round has a buy. That is something we're Worth noting. And let's take a look. We've got a nice shuffle. We've got an energy. Energy underneath. Energy right now underneath the Tina Chomp. So is Aaron going to use Miss Magus right now? Or is he going to just pass the turn? Uh, let's take a look. Is he going to use it? Or is he going to pass that turn? No, just a 40 damage on the Choo Choo. That is it. And let's roll the die. Three. Jirachi is still asleep, so let's take a look uh, what we're gonna have here. So, there, we know there's a Volt Pokegear. Oh, there's Magnolia in, uh, in his hand. Let's take a look at the Jirachi first. So, Stella with Jirachi. Five cards. 
that Miss Maggie just waits there on 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 Adrian's bench, like uh, and that that is like really unfortunate. You know, I I feel like you know, Adrian wanted to use that Miss Maggie's, but he is waiting with that mysterious treasure to just maximize on everything. He wants to have like two Miss Maggie's uh, right after another, and there was nothing from that. There was just literally nothing from that Jirachi, and this is just devastating right now. Magnolia, and let's take a look. Of course, the Pokey and the Faba getting discarded. So right now he has that turn when he discards his hand and draws seven. But, oh, that might be, like, this the Dene play might be in his head, and that may not be enough. But, oh, let's take a look. We've got a skateboard, which is really, really crucial for this matchup right now, because he this means he can actually start attacking with a Picarom. Uh, Edwin checking out his discard pile. We've got an Acrobike. Let's take a look. We've got Electro Power. Is this Electro Power going to be enough after checking out his hand? What to pick? What to pick? Electro Power? No, Electro Power getting discarded this time. That is a really interesting play. I don't not normally see Pikachu players discarding that energy, uh, that energy, that uh, that 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 uh, electro power. But he's playing another Pikachu. So right now, turn one, game one. No Pikachu's now going to a game number two. All Pikachu's all in. And let's take a look. We definitely will see a attack with Pikachu right here. We've got a retreat. And now the question is where he's going to put that energy, where the energy is going to go, Adrian with one card uh, left in his hand, and I believe Arthur just thinks right now that might be a uh, green explosion, that might be Cynthia and Caitlyn, that might be something else, there's still attachment from hand, and attachment from hand to N, uh, two, 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 and Choo Choo, so does it mean, does it mean that he's going to actually start preparing the Choo Choo for the GX attack after, after attacking with Pikram, does this mean that this is going to uh, be exactly what he's going to do, so we've got 150 damage, and he's indicating, he's indicating that he's gonna actually put that energy onto, onto, onto uh, the peak room. That is a really interesting play right now. So he's just uh, going from peak room to peak room. So he wants to have a backup plan in case of the GG ad happening, which is definitely you know, not a bad idea because then he can actually keep on attacking keep on putting uh, the energy on the choo and then uh, have this final blow. So right now, we know there is a uh, mysterious treasure in Adrian's head. Oh, and he draws! He draws! He just literally top decks! He top decks Miss Magus! What a top deck right there! And is he going? And he's going, like, he's starting with a German one. He's starting with a German one. And he. this is going to be a fresh, fresh, fresh draw for him. He knows that's what he needed. He knows that that's what he wanted. And let's take a look. We've got some Roxies. We also got what I believe was a uh, Guzman Hala over there. Yep, there was Guzman Hala, Rainbow Energy, and he can attack. He can start attacking with, uh, I believe, the active, uh, active, active, active uh, Tina Trump. Yes, there there are two energies right now underneath the Tina Trump plus the Karate Belt. He might start thinking about attacking, and that's what he might actually start doing. But first things first, Mysterious Treasure searching for Weezing definitely right now. Oh, and he is. He's searching for that Weezing. He wants that extra, extra damage uh, to go onto uh, all the Pokemon. So actually, uh, Tina Trump can attack. For full, that was 240, I believe. I believe that's 240 damage. Or 220, one of those numbers, which again is enough. I believe that's 220 damage, because uh, it's 160 plus 60. That's what uh, I think, that's uh, what my brain tells me, and that's what I'm gonna go with. We will probably see it in a minute, and oh, he's thinking, and 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 we've got, we've got a second one. So another prize card for Arthur's Rock is down to four prize cards, but this is you near. Know, this is the Miss Maggie's deck. This is the Tina Chomp. So this is a deck. Oh, that was a level ball. Only one. So that is a deck that doesn't really care about about uh, losing few prize cards. They actually do want that. So we see a Roxy. We see. A Miss Mags being discarded and a, and a Weezing, so only one damage counter on each of Arthur's Pokemons. So we've got uh, one damage counter everywhere, five damage counters right now on the Choo Choo, and one, of course, also on Jirachi. So definitely the spread damage is there, the damage is happening. Can we uh, see a knockout this turn? Can we see an amazing, amazing, amazing uh, play? Because there is a play in Adrian's hand. What he's gonna do right now. Again, missing the attachment, turn one, 
was something that you know they were still talking about those players are still thinking about it and we've got a knockout so as i said right as i said so it is 80 damage so we've got a knockout three prize cards to adrian Kostelik, and that is right now really really interesting so of course we've got a drachi with the skateboard uh, being played as an active and now Arthur actually says like oh thank goodness that I do actually have and there's a reset stamp down goes reset stamp to three prior to three cards and uh, right now other like really I think you know uh, just he really just you know thought to himself like okay listen I still got that peak rom I can still p uh, pick up the win even if he's gonna go for the GG end at, at, at him I can still attack I can still have that knockout on uh, on 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 uh, the active the active Pokemon so we've got uh, we've got a Jirachi play oh there is okay and we actually see the big charm a really interesting card a definitely card that you know peak rom players do you have to start playing due to those bigger threats like you know the ADP decks or 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 any other huge huge threat there we go we've got a big charm underneath underneath uh, the peak rom so actually avoiding uh, actually avoiding 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 getting knocked out we've got a peak rom right here being an active position and we might actually see that knockout are we going to see that knockout now the math now the math is hard of course, Adrian is drawing three uh, cards out of price cards, uh, out of out of a uh, reset stamp. That's what happened because he forgot about that. He's drawing right. He he drew out of uh, this. So we got a Pokeguru because still no supporter being played in this turn. So let's take a look. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. There we go. Seven cards. Let's take a look what he might have or he may not have in this in those seven cards. He goes for a Volkner, and he's already going to use the Volkner. Perfect. Turn perfect you now. Uh, turn four on the right now. Just getting there, and Adrian right now also an amazing knockout turn earlier. But he knows he needs to rebuild now. This is the moment he does need to rebuild. He needs to use that GG end at some point. And we've got electromagnetic radar. No, just a quick ball. And he's searching. He's searching for something. And we uh, oh a Fiony play. He's got a Fiony. What an interesting play right now on Arthur Zarlik's turn. But is he going to use the Fiony? That is a question. I mean, he has a knockout, so use, using Fiony may not be may not be what he wants to do right now. Even though it would definitely definitely be a uh, really. Really, really really annoying to Adrian, but he might actually draw something. We got an energy attachment from hand onto a choo choo. Let's take a look now. Just like in the golf. What he's gonna do, what he's gonna do, he's thinking. They're both thinking. We've got an electro power and we've got a knockout right over there. Just making sure with that electro power that the knocker is gonna go through. One, two, three prize cards. So right now our drawing at a one last prize card. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> I do apologize for that sneeze. And all the energy, all the love onto a choo choo. So he knows 250 damage from a GX right now from a choo choo. That is a GX that choo choo can do. That is a huge, huge, huge power. And of course, if he's gonna have electro power, this means this means an instant knockout on uh, the Tina Trump right now. Adrian in the emergency mode, in the panic mode. Can he do it? Can he capitalize on that? We've got a level ball. We've got that level ball, and that is not looking pretty, you know. Again, missing that one attachment early on in the game. But he has the counter again. He has the counter. He still has the GX attack, but I don't think he has the energy to use it. So he can deal 40 damage. Oh, this. You see, like, missing that one attachment of the energy. Really, really important. He's, he has to discard something from that energy. Oh, he discards the counter gain. He discards counter again. You can hear them talking like, what can I do? What can I do? And that's just a 50 damage onto... And oh, and that's Electro Power top deck. That is it. That's not a switch. That's a game. What a top deck. What a top deck. What a top deck that was. My goodness. That was exactly the card he needed to win that game. That is a 2-0. That's a handshake. That is a GG. And that was a round number one in Katowice, Poland. What a game that was, ladies and gentlemen. What a game that was. Both amazing players, both amazing players, great catcher, prized, great catchers, prized, what a game, what a game, what a game, goodbye and good night, and round number two.